Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm do, gonna do a quick whip up of a tire tread. So if I go in here and I create polygon plane. Okay, boop, that's not that's big. I'm just gonna move the pivot point, boop, holding down D and V, boop, there. And if I hold down X, I can pop it over here. Okay, great. And let's see, if I take a look at this, subdivisions and height, don't want those. And I'll scale this down a little bit. Now, I should be looking at an image right now and making some tread choices. Okay, uh, we'll do something like that, we should be fine. <sighs> but I'm just gonna show you the basic principle. If I figure out how um, the, the tread should look, so overall I might go in here and I'll, maybe I'll grab this edge and I'll move it in here. It's usually some kind of little track in the middle. Okay, these two here, let's pull them this way, and then maybe this one, this over here, and we could go this way if I want to. Whatever it is, I figure out the pattern, um, and I'll be happy. And let's just take these and scale these in a bit, and I'm going to, oops, move this over here. Okay, boop. And I'm just trying to round it out here. Oh, I missed, what am I thinking? Okay, so there's my basic tread that I'm looking for. I'm also gonna go in and use the insert edge whoop tool. Edge whoops. Oh, I'll put in something there. Maybe here I'll get fancy. Let's get fancy with my edge ring, okay? If I go in here and put in multi, and I put in another division. Yes, I like that, I do. I like it when you do that, there we go. Yes, there, and I could do the same thing over here, whatever I want. Okay, great. And uh, let's go in here and I'll select faces from there to there. And uh, maybe I'll grab that face too. And maybe we'll quickly do, actually maybe I'll take this one too. I'm gonna do a little extrudes, little extrudes. And we'll just offset them a little bit. Yes, just like that. Um. I might decide, this this one here is kind of tapering down into the tread, so I might decide, hey, you know what, I, I don't want it to look like that, so I'm just going to delete that edge so it'll blend in a little bit better. The odd triangle isn't really a problem. Not a problem with what we're doing. I'm pretty much finished what I'm after. Okay, what do we have? Like, that took me under three minutes. I'm just going to go and delete the history, freeze the transformations. I'm going to move my pivot point. There it is. Yeah! I just snapped it over this corner. Now, I made sure that this line here is perfectly even with this line up here. So if I make a duplicate and I hold down V, there, that little piece of information is interesting to me. I like that. I'm going to take note of that. I'm going to copy it. Control C, I've copied it. Then I'm going to go over here to Edit, Duplicate Special, and I'm going to reset it. Okay, and <clears throat> I'm going to make, I don't care if it's an instance, uh, I'm going to go into uh, translate. This is not going to be along the Z axis, so translate Z, control V, that column is for Z. And typically there's like 50 or 60 treads, I do believe, on a tire. Okay, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe the crack has taken over, but I'm going to do, say, 58, so it'll give me a 60 in total. When I hit duplicate special, boom! Got all these treads. I'm going to grab all the treads, and I'm going to go into a mesh, I'm going to hit combine. I'm going to delete the history. Uh, I'm going to go in and I usually use merge components and I have this on a very small threshold. I could even add an extra 0 0.001. And I hit enter and uh, merge. And it merged all the vertices that were right on top of each other. Um, e then what I can do is once I'm to this stage, everything's kind of sealed up. I'm going to go zipping from polygons to animation. And in animation, under Create Deformers, Nonlinear Bend. Have you ever played the Bendola? Here, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to hold down J. Rotate it to its side. Let's check it out. Does it work? I'm going to hit T on the keyboard. Yeah! And I always find, in this position here, it's actually really nice to figure it out. I go to the top view. I'm going to hit If. And uh, maybe I'll go into wireframe for this one. My brain always says that the curvature here should... I should be able to type in pi, but I don't quite understand why. 
why I can't type in pi, I sigh. Okay. There, that's good right there. It's good, yeah? Um, and let's just go back here to perspective view so you can see it. And I'm just going to switch to... Oh, you bastard. I'm going to switch to my rotate tool, and I'll hold down J on my... Uh, on my bend tool and let's see what does it look like oh my god there yes yeah, just like that and I'm gonna kill my history the bend tool goes away I should check down in here I've probably got some kind of gappage I'm just gonna go grab vertices and I'll hit that uh, back over to polygons merge components I might need a slight bit more I'm gonna take away one of those zeros Boop. Hard to say. Maybe if I'm not sure still, if I go to display polygons and I uh, put on the border edges. Yes, right, the border edges. There, got it. 0 0.02, got it there. Yep. Okay, so there's my tread. And then um, <clears throat> I might notice that this is a bit wide. I did do a little bit of guessing. I'm just going to center me pivots. Yeah, there we go. Actually, this tire looks kind of sucky. Um, anyway, I'm just going to grab this edge. I could grab the edge, or if I wanted to, I could grab, say, a vertice here. Hold down shift and double clock, and I get all the vertices. Grabs the vertice loop. Something I don't like is I don't like this edge coming down towards the center because it loses some of the smoothness. I'm going to uh, just go to uh, merge components again. And this time, merge distance, let's go and crank it up a little bit. There, yeah, just like that. Okay. And now I can go in and grab, come on, grab this and extrude Ola. And I'll just kind of uh, switch from local to global. And I'll bring this in a bit. Okay, and I got to do some, you know, reference stuff and all those things. Probably something like these. And I could probably add a couple of divisions. And maybe I just go in here and grab this face and hold down shift and grab that one. Pull it out a bit. Okay. And boom. And you see I got this green thing going on. That's just a disassociative texture problem. So I'm just going to go and reassign Lambert 1. Boom. And I got a tire. I'm tired. I'm going to go back and uh, mirror polygon. I'm going to flip it on its, in this case here, negative X. Yeah, I got a big, thick honking tire. That's kind of crazy, man. Center me pivots. And my tire should look a bit more like that-ish. Okay, not perfect, but whatever. I did this fast, fast, fast. Eight minutes. And you got tire. -a. Okay. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to stop here. <laughs>